Hi, I'm Dave Anderson, and I want to talk about why the marginal revenue curve is below the demand curve for a monopoly. First, remember what it's like for a perfectly competitive firm. Because these firms are price takers, the demand curve for each firm is a horizontal line at the market price. They can sell all that they want at that price, they just can't raise their price. The demand curve is also the marginal revenue curve because when they sell another unit, they get the price represented by the height of that line. A monopoly is different because a monopoly faces the entire market demand curve because the monopoly is the only firm in the market. So the demand curve is downward sloping. Now let's think about what marginal revenue looks like. Think about this firm that has a downward sloping demand curve and it can sell no units at $11, one unit at $10, two units at $9, three units at $8, and so forth. What's its marginal revenue from the first unit? In order to sell one, it has to lower its price to $10, and it sells one unit at $10, so the total revenue, which is the total number of dollars that it takes in, 10 bucks. Its marginal revenue is the addition of revenue when it sold that last unit, that first unit. And so marginal revenue equals the total revenue and the price of $10. That first unit is special though. When it sells another one, it has to lower its price to $9. We're assuming that every unit is sold for the same price, so both of those units are sold for $9. What is the marginal or additional revenue from that second unit? It's not $9. The price is $9, and it takes in $9 from that second one, but in order to sell that second one, it had to lower its price on the first unit by a buck. So it gets $9 as the price of the second one minus $1 it lost on the first unit that it otherwise could sell for 10 bucks. So the marginal revenue is nine minus one, or eight. Another way to look at that is to compare the total revenue with two with the, the total revenue from one. Two units, it gets two times nine is $18. One unit, it got $10. So the increment in total revenue, the increase in total revenue going from one unit to two is $8 lower than the price of nine. So the marginal revenue already is diverging from that demand curve that shows the price. Now let's look at the third unit. In order to sell three, it has to lower its price to $8. Total revenue is 24. What's its marginal revenue? It's not the price, not the price of $8. It got $8 for that third unit, but it lost a dollar each on those other two units that it could otherwise sell for $9. Now it's selling it for eight. So marginal revenue is the $8 price minus two that it lost on those first two units. Or we can look at the total revenue of 24 minus the total revenue from selling only two, which is 18, and the increment is $6. So marginal revenue, either way you count it, six and for a fourth unit it can sell the fourth unit for seven dollars it has to lower its price on those other units to seven dollars its total revenue is four times seven 28 its marginal revenue can be seen by either looking at the price of seven minus the dollar it lost on each of those three units when it lowered its price from eight to seven in order to sell the fourth one or 28 the total revenue selling all four minus the $24 total revenue from selling eight, again, four. So the marginal revenue is four and the marginal revenue curve continues below the demand curve as we see it here. And now we, ex we see exactly why, because in order to sell more, it has to lower its price on all the units. So the marginal revenue is the price minus what it loses from lowering the price on those other units. We also see why one of the gangster signs for economists goes like this. Demand curve, marginal revenue below it. Have a great day.